You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, goddammit! Get the point. Good. And now... Bend over. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Yeah. My name is Grammy. <laughs> and I come through your computer to mess with your head. That's what I do. You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 10. Also on the RLM Radio Spreaker Channel and the RLM TuneIn Radio Station and the RLM Internet Radio Station and lots of RLM and num places. And later to be on the RLM YouTube channel and BitChute and I think on iHeart and SoundCloud and I have no idea. Grimmy knows wherever he's infected people with my brain. <laughs> and yeah, and well then, you think you might be the Mad Hatter? Oh, <laughs> ah, you're going to have to play catch up, hon. And no, I'm not talking about the tomato one either. <laughs> getting smaller tall you know i'm not overweight i'm just under tall that's my story and i'm sticking to it okay let me say um why was the hatter mad mercury mercury poisoning Mm. he was crazy i tell you crazy you would be crazy too if you had them oogly googly eyes oh well uh saying hey over here on twitter thank you barman for letting everybody know that i am live and in poison on this wacka 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 doodle wednesday where joe biden is telling people social mores have changed and so now i'm going to have to be more careful about invading poisonal space honey since when has that ever stopped you my lord social mores have pretty much been the same you are just one sick sob that's all there is to it okay let's see dun, dun, dun. oh hi ranchero 42 over here on twitter thank you ever so much um let's see where else do i need to go huh, don't tell me where to go i know how to go there i've been told to go there so many times i am now the official tour guide so <laughs> yeah and i drive the crazy bus too over here on fakie book don't really see a whole heck of a lot going on except for oh i got some people wanting me to join their instagram page Nah, i do see bubs over here though hey bubs how you doing sweetheart Hope you're having an absolutely, um, he was feltered. <laughs> Ooh, feltered. Is that anything like being felted up? <laughs> um, yes. Hatters really go mad. <laughs> quasi, quasi, quasi. Okay, I'm checking out the chat while I'm doing my, yeah. I'm squirrel. It's going to be a squirrel kind of day. That's all there is to it. Okay, John Doe's doing a test over here on realliberty.org. <coughs> Excuse me. I got myself all choked up. What did I do that for? Damn it. I hate when that happens. Antonio, how are you doing, darling? Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, so over here on realliberty.org, I see Rob Works is playing as well as Grimner. And uh, John Doe was here for a little bit, and so was Java, 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 Java Doctor. How about over here on this Freedoms Network? Thank you once again, Grimmy, for letting everybody know that I am live and in poison over here. I see Soikles was posting some stuff over here not too long ago. And uh, let's see, who else is, who else is live? Uh, the lovely Estrella is also here. Yay! Are you meatloaf? Would you do anything for love? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Apparently that means that no, not anything. Not anything, but some things. Hmm, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so I've been to RLO, Effin, where's Mines? There's Mines. I haven't been to Mines in a few days. I really have not been doing like the the whole social media thing for a couple of days, basically because I've been woiking, number one. 
And because I've been listening to some very interesting videos of late, so I guess that is social media, listening to YouTuber stuff, but I haven't been checking these out. Hi, Ribbiting Science. How are you? Is it science as in science? Or is it just because we said? Because that's kind of Amazon smile. Mm, no. Okay. Don't be a slave to your own ignorance. Know where your or yeah, know where your opinions, especially the strongly held ones, came from and be brave enough to question them. Oh my goodness, I love that. That's a good one. Thank you, Thinker Bell. That's an awesome little thing right there. Um <laughs> Okay. Moving along. Hi, everybody over on Minds. And in the Matrix, I did not share that I was live over here on in the Matrix, but they do know that, <coughs> excuse me, on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, they're busy doing other things like QE kind of things, you know, so, which is, eh, that's cool. I find Q quite fascinating. Um, not real sure I'm a, I'm a Q believer yet. Not, I know I'm, well, yeah. Lots of, that's that's one of those uh, Barnabas Nage. It's N-A-G-Y over on um, YouTube. He has absolutely zero use for religion or politics. And he said it's all fake, which mm, I tend to lean that way myself. But um, yeah, he says if they've lied once, question everything they say. And yeah, Barnabas, <laughs> I got to agree with you, hon. I truly do. Okay, so, and Trumples is doing some stuff that I'm thinking, man, either you're playing a really long game and I just freaking don't have a clue or you don't have a clue. Somewhere in here, somebody doesn't have a clue. And uh, because of that, I think I'm going to come over and not be clueless anymore. I'm going to come over to the RLM and say hey to everybody over here. <coughs> Oh, you got felt up and you go crazy? Oh, baby. <laughs> Beaver hats? <clears throat> Is that like Beth's pink pussy hats? Is that what you're talking about there, sock puppet? Just curious. Moving along. Okay, over here in the RLM, which is a place you need to be if you want to give me static. If you're listening in on the Spreaker channel and you make some comments, honey, I won't see it until the end of the show because I just ain't got the internet whatever mojo to be able to play on all of those different sites just sucks too much can't do it captain i ain't got no power but <clears throat> come on over to reallibertymedia.com think of a nickname join the chat give me some static i'll give it back um felted wool oh okay hey miss van meter okay i gotta i gotta do this or i'll i'm so that too barman right up top the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world closely followed by vanna white and the weather dork and well carl marx is okay he's weird it says some of the most inappropriate things jeez carl in any case grimner is right up there and he is the rlm god don't you know also the lovely moose coil is here hey moosey how you doing hon Kate is also here from down in the great state of Florida, and I just got to ask, are you guys getting, you and, and Sock, are you getting hammered with um, nasty weather? Because the only channels they have on at work, which is just fine by me, it's bad enough, but hey, it works for me, is um, they have the weather channel on. And I saw that there was some nasty stuff going on down there in Florida, and I thought, oh, God, let's hope. Um Oh, <laughs> that's true, Sock. That's true. Okay, for you guys. I, I don't swing that way, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> DC is also here as well as Anti. <laughs> I also see Asmo is here as well as yours, truly. I'm kind of sort of here. I think my evil twin keeps popping in and out, and that's why things are just going wonky. Um, and looky there, we got another IP Don C here as well, and Java, 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 Java Doctor 2, as well as Ponder Gander, who is also Vanny. <laughs> the lovely Rain is here, as well as Rob Oikes. Rob, did you fire the bubbler and I just missed it? Tiny bubbles. I need bubbles. I need bubbles. Okay. 
Romes is also here. Romes was missing in action for a while there, but we found Romes. I'm so happy. Vanna White is also here, as well as Vinny. Vinny. He's so easily entertained. <laughs> I also see Weatherdork as well as Z, Beth Z, Phantom, the awesome young man that did my intro for me. Once again, Phantom, you the bomb, you the man, you're just pretty cool. And looky there, and well then, is also here as well as Beetle. Hi, Beetle. How you doing, hon? Colfax 101 and Cyborg Noodle. May you be touched by that noodly goodness. Um, Dakota is also here as well as Dan Tennessee. Hey, Dan Tennessee. Long time no see, sweetheart. How's things in the great state of Tennessee? I also see Frumpy 2 is here. Frumpy, you know what? Where I work, there is a gentleman staying there. His semi broke down. He's from British Columbia, so we had a wonderful chat today. It's kind of cool. He definitely has the Kanukistan accent. <laughs> I also see Gromit is here, as well as JJ's na na nine. And uh, let's see, let me correct that. Guys like, oh, that's there. You go, sock. Excellent, excellent. That's a that's a good way to put that. You do realize, honey, that um, that makes you a lesbian. Because you prefer women. <laughs> My ex used to say he was a founding member of Male Lesbians of America. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's probably still a member, but he's got to be doing something with his member elsewhere now. Because I'm not interested. Moving along. <laughs> Oh, my evil twin is having fun tonight. Yeehaw. Um, JJ's Kozu is also in the chat, as well as Carl Marx, that Marxy little bugger. Kiss is here. Keep it simple, stupid. That's the way to do it. Papa Papa Pod Sauce is here, as well as Sock Puppet. Sock Puppet. Cinnamon, and I keep thinking every time I actually had to play that song before I went to work today. Suleiman by um, Neil Diamond, because it's ever since I saw that, that's been running through my brain, and it just runs around and it beats on those drums, and and so I had to actually play it to see if maybe I could exercise it from the building, so to speak. D I doubt it, but you know, it's kind of like that song. It's a small world after all. And once it gets in there. <laughs> It's a brain worm, I gotta tell you. I also see, to round out the crew, the one, the only, the lovely Miss Van Meter. Hey, Donna, how are you, sweetheart? And also, over here in the red pill, let's see who's not playing in the RLM, but they're in the red pill. Apostle is here, as well as F. Canella and Juana Taco, Q. Cupcake, and Soily are also over in the red pill. So, hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. Brittany and Madonna and Miley going to be examples of what? Most definitely. Most definitely. Oh, um, Brittany Spears checked herself into a mental facility. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> I did not get kicked out of the blanket fort. It just kind of got torn down with all the rough and tumble. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I freaked out one of the gals at work too because I put some Neil Diamond on while I was doing dishes. And she was like, you're listening to Neil Diamond? Yeah, actually I am. I haven't listened to it in forever. <laughs> yeah. So, in any case, I'm going to move along to uh, some wonderful things that, um, actually, Rob and Beth both sent me some links. And, uh, let me see, is that the, yeah. So, I'm going to go to this one that Rob sent. It is from Energy CX USA, and it's Frequency of the Human Body. And, you know, that whole thing about... Man, the vibes were just not cool or, oh, dude, totally awesome vibes or that's what they're talking about. They may not have really realized it, but yeah, this is what they were talking about. So the overall range of resonance frequent or resonant frequencies of the human body was found to be from 62 to 68 hertz and independent of mass, height and or mass 
height and mass to height ratio. Oh, okay. What was that, Anwell, then? Yes. <laughs> A bigger blanket fort. Booyah! <laughs> okay, so... Electrical conduction allows the movement of electrically charged particles within the body, and that flow produces our life force. Wow, I didn't... Okay, that's a weird way of looking at things. So, instead of you being a soul and incorporating a physical body, you're, all of the electricity and all of the energy that from the vibe from your body is what creates you. I don't, I'm not sure that I agree with that. Interesting concept, though, unless I'm perceiving that incorrectly. In any case, life itself as we know it is inextricably interwoven with geometric forms from the angles of atomic bomb or atomic bonds to the molecules of the amino acids to the um, helical 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 oh helical from the helical spirals of DNA to the spherical prototype of the cell to the first few cells of an organism, which assume vesicle, tetrahedral, and star or double tetra tetrahedral forms prior to the diversification of tissues from different physiological functions. Wow, now see, I could say tetrahedral, but I, and then even then I screwed that up, but physiological made me go, <laughs> wow. Just goes to show, uh, sometimes I just have trouble talking. I know it shocks you. In any case, the molecules of our DNA and the cornea of our eye, snowflakes, pine cones, flower petals, diamond crystals, and the branching of trees, a nautilus shell, the star we spin around, if you believe such things, the galaxy we spiral within and race after the star that we spin around, because, you know, we're overachievers like that. The air that we breathe and all life forms as we know them emerge out of the timeless geometric codes. Hmm. Now our human bodies on this planet all developed from the common geometric progression from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 primal cells and beyond. The universe is more than 99.99% empty space. So, when you call someone an airhead, because as above, so below, you aren't lying. <laughs> they got 99.99% .99 empty space going on, which basically means that if I recognize that in them, then I got that. And Let's move along. Now, this is, oh, see, and it says, including our own bodies. Now, all physical things are made of atoms, which are mostly empty space. And if the nucleus was the size of a marble, the electrons would be specks of dust a half a mile away. Holy carp! Now, every physical thing that has much empty space, or every physical thing has that much empty space. Good Lord Almighty! I got it. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> See if I can read better now. Inside the empty space is intelligence and frequency. <laughs> I'm not necessarily exhibiting that right now, but we're getting there. Almost everywhere we look, the mineral intelligence embodied in the crystalline structures follows a geometry unfaltering in its exactitude. Now, according to Dr. Robert O. Becker, in his book, The Body Electric, the human body has an electrical frequency and that much about a person's health can be determined by it. Now, the frequency is the measurable rate of electrical energy flow that is constant between any two points. Yes, I am messing with the univoice. I'm messing with the univoice. Don't you know? <laughs> it messes with me. I figure a little tit for tat, don't you know? Okay, now this, where was I at? Okay. Now, everything has frequency, and Dr. Royal Rife found that every disease has a frequency, and what happened to him? He got shut up, because you ain't supposed to be telling that kind of stuff. How are we supposed to make money if you do that? Damn it. 
He also discovered that certain frequencies can prevent the development of disease and that others would destroy diseases. Substances of higher frequency will destroy diseases of lower frequency. Hmm, isn't that quite interesting? Um, yes, everything made of atoms. See, that's why I just really don't trust atoms because they make up everything. But um, boom, boom. <laughs> Now, in 1992, Bruce Tano of the Tano Technology, I'm sure I mispronounce that, which is an independent division of the Eastern State University of Cheney, Washington, built the first frequency monitor in the world. And he has determined that the average frequency of the human body during the daytime is 62 to 68 hertz. So when the frequency drops, the immune system is compromised. And if the frequency drops to 58 hertz, cold and flu symptoms appear. At 55 hertz, diseases like candida take hold. At 52 hertz, Epson Bar or Epstein Bar, and at 42 hertz, cancer. His machine was certified as 100% accurate and is currently being used in the agricultural field today. We cannot use that in the medicinal field, but oh, we can use it in agricultural. <laughs> oh, really? All righty. Sadite. Um, oh, McDonald's is Madonna's. Ew, man. No wonder I don't like that place. Moving along. Now, the study of frequencies raises an important question concerning the frequencies of substances that we eat, breathe, and absorb. Many pollutants have low frequencies and cause bodies' healthy frequencies to be lowered and weakened. Processed or canned food has a frequency of zero and tends to lower healthy frequencies within the body towards degenerative diseases. Now, fresh produce has up to 15 hertz, dry herbs from 12 to 22 hertz, and fresh herbs from 20 to 27 hertz. Essential oil frequencies start at 52 hertz and go as high as 320 hertz, <clears throat> excuse me, which is the frequency of rose oil. And I have to tell you, I got me some rose oil. And I started every morning, I put a little bit underneath my eyes because it's supposed to also help with vision. So uh, I, my distance vision is, is much better. I don't know that my up close is any better yet. That it, I think it's helped my distance vision at least. In any case, moving along. Now these higher frequencies create an environment in which disease, bacteria, virus, fungus, cancer, etc., cannot live. In one study, the doctors took two young men who had 66 hertz frequencies. One held coffee in his frequency and it dropped to 58 in three seconds. The other gentleman drank it and his frequency dropped to 52 in three seconds. Science doesn't completely understand how the cells and frequencies interact and in in any influence of EMF on a living being starts at the cellular level. It's impressive complexity involved. Now a single human cell performs over 50,000 different biochemical reactions and it carries in the DNA molecule billion bytes of data or survival know-how. And this DNA molecule contains around 100,000 genes, of which 50 or 500,000 are actively producing around 5,000 different proteins. Such a cell, only visible under a strong microscope, beats the complexity of a modern personal computer by far. And recent research leads us to the theory that in every living cell, there is an extremely complex process of subtle electromagnetic vibrations going on every thousands of a second. When creating all of those biochemical molecules and proteins. Now in living nature, everything vibrates. The smaller it is, the faster. 
the frequencies of the vibrations in the living cell depending on the size of the components. And there are physical vibrations and electrical. It's obvious that the cell as a whole vibrates with lower frequencies than individual molecules or atoms. So to get an idea about these physical frequencies, one can look at a cell division where the DNA molecule, an extremely long string of coded material, divides itself into two exact copies. A DNA molecule is folded into a tiny ball, but when it divides itself, it has to unfold and unroll itself at speeds from 10 to 20 revolutions per minute, or 200 to 300 hertz. The 50 different biochemical reactions that the, that the creation of 5,000 different proteins is a continuous bioelectric chemical game with electrical vibrations all over the place. Every single biochemical reaction is an electronic process in itself. Yes? Ah. Now, in the last 150 years, we started using electricity on a broad, really broad scale. And nowadays, every inhabitant of a so-called civilized country is bathing every hour of the day and night in a continuous flood of electromagnetic fields with a broad range of frequencies started early in this century with the lower frequencies of 50 to 60 hertz, but in the last few decades, I'm assuming that this was actually from last century. Wow, that makes me feel older. <laughs> oh well, in the last few dec decades, the frequencies are rising fast due to modern digital technology and micro miniaturization. So from an evolution standpoint, such an enormous explosion of EMF cannot be handled by normal evolutionary growth. Now a range of EMF frequencies may resound with equal bioelectrical frequencies within living cells and they will disturb the electrochemical processes. Since the life within the cell seems to be a continuous dance of electrons, hey baby, you guys were talking about dancing earlier in the chat, one can imagine that another music, if you will, form um, outside spoils this delicate process. It's basically from going, going from Beethoven to Metallica which I've been known to do. <laughs> I have a strange eclectic taste in music, so eh, what can I say? Now, if we see these subtle intracellular vibrations as a full concert of a symphony orchestra within a cell, then we can see EMF from outside as a brass band that enters the concert hall during the, or during the concert unasked with lots of noise. And that would be like having the Philharmonic playing something from Beethoven or Bach and having um, Megadeth come in just blaring away. So, it, it, would, it would be kind of interesting. Although, Guns N' Roses did it quite well. And I really like Kansas, although I know I know Grimmy doesn't care for the musical group Kansas. I enjoy, and I actually got to see them in concert. Pretty freaking awesome. But I digress. I know, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. There. A combination of the the symphonic and the heavy metal. Booyah! So, back to this article. Now, um, da -da -da -da. It's sub this is all subtler than that, though, and this resonance can be an influence on the range of biofrequencies depending on the physical size of the process. Now, processes that include a, a cell as a whole work with lower frequencies, and the formation of a small protein at the edge of a cell works with a much higher frequency probably there will be EMF frequencies that do not cause any resonance. But since we don't know these free frequencies, EMF is unsafe at any frequency. Now, 
I read that simply because I saw over on Book when I was doing my little trolling and uh, scrolling that Larry Woods shared something. This is from wakingtimes.com and it is from August of last year. Cancer link confirmed in largest ever cell tower radiation study. Now, as the rollout of the nationwide 5G cell network moves forward, many concerned scientists and public health experts are raising the alarm about the potential harms of bathing the environment in high-frequency electromagnetic energy. This new technology would add another layer of electromagnetic radiation to an already dangerously inundated environment. Cell phone manufacturers downplay the potential risks, as well as studies that link them to the formation of brain cancer. And in 2017, the California Department of Public Health issued new guidelines aiming to help people reduce their exposure to the risks involved in using cell phones. And yet, they're one of the first places to roll out 5G. And what is 5G? Let me give you a little quick tip here. 5G, the increase in speed that's supposed to make things download ever so much faster, the actual increase over what 4G gives you, that speed increase is about the same as the time it takes you to blink. That's how much of an increase you're getting for this added benefit of all kinds of electromagnetic radiation inundation. Now, <clears throat> yes, I see a flashing going on. Get some leftovers? Mmm, leftovers. So, um, 5G is already known to cause unused health... Unused? Hmm, unused health disturbances. I'm thinking unused is probably not the word they needed there. I mentally stumbled there. And uh, while many are working on working to derail the massive project, new research gives us extraordinary insight into the effects that cell tower radiation is already having on our health. This technology is far from benign. And while scientists from both sides debate the potential for harm, more evidence continues to mount, suggesting that we would be wise to reconsider our dependence on cell technology and the upcoming 5G. Firefighters in San Francisco say that they began experiencing an array of unusual side effects after 5G equipment was installed in and around their firehouses. Symptoms reportedly included memory problems and confusion, and the firefighters say that the symptoms only stopped after they relocated to different fire station without 5G devices nearby. And it's not just firefighters either. In Gateshead, England, scientist Mark Steele says that there's been an uptick in reproductive issues and other health problems since the city's new wireless streetlights were installed. Miscarriages, stillbirths, nosebleeds, and insomnia are among the consequences that he's reportedly observed in the community. We're seeing babies dying in the womb as these transmitters are sit situated outside people's bedroom windows. It really is a humanitarian crisis. And possibly, let me, let me adjust my tinfoil hat here possibly all part of the plan. Thanks, Captain Assholio. Now, further evidence suggests harm comes from the recent Ramazzini study in which researchers have confirmed what many have suspected to be the case. Ambient cell tower radiation do have serious biological effects. And the study looked at test rats who were placed in close proximity to cell towers ultimately establishing a credible link to cancer. So, now the researchers with the renowned Ramazzini Institute, or RI, in Italy announced that the large-scale lifetime study of lab animals exposed to environmental levels of cell tower radiation developed cancer. 
So, bada bing, bada boom, more and more, and yet they're still pushing for it. Why, I ask you? Because it's part of the plan. Check out Georgia, uh, Georgia Guidestones. Check out New World Order. Check out UN Agenda 21 or Agenda 2050 or... It's all in there. They have to put it out there. They have to because if they don't put out those little kernels of truth that most people just scan right past, then people, their bullshitometer will be going off like crazy. So they have to put it out there. They have to hide it in plain sight. It's just most people don't realize it because they're busy looking at all of the Acacia Ocrazio crap or Jesse Smollett crap or creepy Uncle Joe Biden crap. Oh well. According to the study, the type of malignant cancer seen in rats are similar to the type observed in those attributed to cell phone use. And at issue for some naysayers are the levels of safe radiation issued by the FCC, who is a governmental entity, and we all know that every governmental entity is in somebody's pocket. Playing pocket pool, most likely. And whether or not cancers are actually occur when a person is exposed to levels which do not exceed these recommendations. Well, yeah, right. Check out all of the recommendations they have. You would be shocked. Now, other researchers point out that current cell tower systems already exist or exceed these limits. And yet, is the FCC going to step in? No. Because they're paid very well not to. But I tell you what, they will hammer down on the little guy because that's easy pickings. Furthermore, as stated above, the nationwide rollout of 5G is well underway. And this technology would drastically increase our exposure to cellular radiation, which would put children and pregnant women at an even greater risk than they already are. So, there is a video attached to the end of this that kind of gives you a more comprehensive review of the study. You might want to check that out. 5G is bad juju. Bad juju. We, do, we need to understand what we're doing to ourselves before we start stepping up the pace just a wee bit, don't you think? Somebody's a honeypot? Who's a honeypot? <laughs> oh my goodness oh good god Miley Cyrus thanks for sharing Miley yeah I'd gone forever all I had to do was see that name and it's like oh good lord really did I deserve that I don't think so oh well everything 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 in this world and that's that's you know you can sit here and be freaked out and all that other fun shit Stop and realize that everything dies. Even things that are not man-made, everything dies from one time or at one time or another. Very few of us actually know the scheduled time of this. And judging by some of the things that I have watched or listened to in the last month or so, even the earth goes through catastrophic changes in a very cyclical manner. And in those catastrophic changes, we deem them as catastrophic because it takes out a pretty good chunk of us. And I kind of, I'm of a mind that I'm not going to worry about that crap. I'm just not. Worrying about it takes away the joy of what I could be experiencing right here and right now with what I've got right in front of me. And even if it's something like, oh my God, do I really have to clean that mess up? At least I'm here and able to do so. There's an awful lot of people that did not get that opportunity this morning. They didn't get. Oh, it's not Miley Cyrus. Thank you, Sock. Thank God. I, I just, that, that thing, that creature, that individual, whatever. It just plain, it's like, ah, oh, my Lord, my Lord. Oh, do what? Yeah. 
cat cafe is much more enticing and appetizing than Miley. But, eh. And yes, Frumpy, we are all going to die. And I'm not going to worry about if, when Yosemite goes off or Yellowstone or we get an asteroid. Come on, meteor. I know you, Grim. I, I have an Etch-A-Sketch. And by golly, I'm going to give that bad boy a good old shake and start over again. And since we're all energy anyway, it's not like we really stop because you can't destroy energy. You just convert it. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to have fun with what I got right now, right here, right now. And speaking of right here and right now and having some fun, I went over to PIGazette.com. And those boys, Hambo and Porcus, they are just such wild and wacky guys. Their word of the day is Mueller Report. It's a pot of political fool's gold at the end of the wishful thinking rainbow. <laughs> Reminds me of Rainbow Coalition. <sighs> Man. In the quotable quote section, they have, When misguided public opinion honors what is despicable and despises what is honorable, punishes virtue and rewards vice, encourages what is harmful and discourages what is useful, applauds falsehood and smothers truth under indifference or insult, a nation turns its back on progress and can be restored only by the terrible lessons of catastrophe. Holy carpinoli. Universe, thank you. Talk about synchronicity. And thank you, Frederick Batiste, for that one. So, in the Tasty Tidbits section, outside the box thinking that will work. A bizarre idea to stop all the demon craps. So when one tries to reason with a lefty Democrat, remember that you are dealing with a person who believes that a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man and that such a delusion should be encouraged, not discouraged discouragement of the delusion is considered immoral and bigoted. Thus our society has unnecessary dilemmas concerning bathrooms, athletic competition at all levels, and pronoun controversies, subjecting ourselves to all manner of laws, rules, regulations, and more needless government control. So, which any kind of government control in my books is needless. Now, here's a suggestion to break the left's ridiculous gender ideology and denial of biological reality. POTUS Trumpel-Stilskin should make a declaration that he is identifying as a woman. The left will have to admit the absurdity of their gender ideology or accept and celebrate Donna Trump as the first woman president. Thus beating Shrillery, Liz Warren, Amy Clo Clubu yeah, that person, Camilla Harris, and Kirsten Gillibrand to the glorious goal of one of their female firsts. Furthermore, if he remains married to Melania, he will also be the first gay president and first lesbian president, although I think Dangleberry's got that one pretty much sewed up. He will also be the first lesbian president married to an immigrant. What a glorious event for the Democrats to celebrate. I hope you find that amusing, unless you're a lefty. I found that extremely amusing myself, but hey, what's that? Hi, Silamon. Okay, now this date in history, the 3rd of April... 1954. Walt Disney announces plans for Disneyland in Los Angeles of Anaheim. And yeah, talk about an April Fool a couple days late. <laughs> but a bing, but a boom. That's an expensive ass. Let, let me get some mouse ears for my kid thing. I've been there. Did it once. That was more than enough. This date in history, the 3rd of April, 1963. E.T. gets a good belly laugh at human expense when the Ruskies launch a spacecraft, Luna 4, at the moon and miss by 
8,500 kilometers. Well, that's only because they misjudged because they didn't know at that time that the moon was actually still inside the Earth's atmosphere. Duh. This date in history, the 3rd of April, 1971. Jenny Craig was born. Ask doctor if the diaper makes her look fat. Yes, honey, it makes you look like your ass is too big. And lastly, this date in history, the 3rd of April, 1987. IBM debuts PS2 and OS2. Bill Gates' uproarious laughter deemed unsettling. <laughs> Thank you, Hambo and Porkus, for your wonderful little input today. I truly do appreciate it. Let's see. What is that? Okay. Yes. Okay. M mortality in men. Hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. You know, isolation is wonderful, if especially when you have to deal with idiots. And so, therefore, when I have a day where I have had to deal with quite a few idiots, that's why I'm ever so thankful that I have weeds in my yard. And some people might go, what? You enjoy having weeds? Oh, hell yeah. They keep me out of jail. I go out and I start pulling weeds in my yard. And each one of those weeds has a name. And if they're a stubborn little bugger and I have to get like my, my weed digging fork out or something, it's like, Ugh, I really enjoy getting that bad boy pulled completely out. It's like, Ugh. So, yeah, I enjoy my weeds because they keep me from going to jail. <laughs> so, okay, y'all been listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com channel 10 and the RLM Spreaker channel. Let me see who's coming up the, late, the rest of this week. And sorry, Grim, I missed your leftovers on Friday or on Monday. Damn it all. It was one of those... <sighs> One of those days, it's just, you know, it's been crazy all flipping week. And there's something in the frequency, I tell ya. But I will, I will listen to it. I think you have that on the YouTube, don't you, Grim? If you don't have it on YouTube, then I'll go ahead and pull up BitChute at work and listen to it there. But cool beans, I need to catch Grim's leftovers from Monday. Um, and yeah, as soon as I get done with the radio this evening, I, I got something to go do right after I get off the radio. So my blog post will be a little bit late this evening. I will get it done tonight because I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a little bit late. Um, well, that is true. I, yeah, Graham, I guess when you put it like that, dealing with idiots is dealing with humans. Yeah. Yeah. Although not all humans are idiots. But all idiots are human. <laughs> Isn't it fun like that? Oh well. Back to the schedule. I need to get back to the schedule. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Flash Rooney is going to be coming on with 20% off. And, you know, don't tell anyone, but as I was talking with him before the dork table on Saturday, I think it was before, maybe it was after, I don't know, sometime when we were not live on the radio, I did question him. And actually, don't, don't quote me. But I think he marks shit up 45% and then marks it down 20%. So he's still making a hell of a market. In any case, that's Flash Rooney Dork at 2 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow here on Real Liberty Media. Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time or noon Central Time for Vinny. Because, yeah, Central Time, Cosmos, Cent this is the time of the Cosmos. Y'all just need to understand that. Bow down to our time zone, okay? I'm in Central Time as well. Now, Vinny's going to be on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time with a Ponder Gander. I will be back Friday evening, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. my time. 
For another edition of the Rocket Chair, Saturday at noon Eastern Time is the Dork Table where Flasher is going to have to find another hostage hostage because I got a wake on Saturday. Sunday at noon Eastern Time, Grimmy's going to be jumping on the radio and playing some blues for you. And I'm sure there will be a rousing game of trivia going on in the chat, which I will observe. <laughs> And I might occasionally be able to pop in there and get an answer, but it's usually one of those really, really obscure things. And everybody goes, whoa, Grams, good one. Well, yeah, I have a trivial mind. (laughs) Only for very obscure stuff, though. Trust me. Directly following Grim at 3 p.m. Eastern Time will be Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass behind the woodshed that's what's coming up here on real liberty media and there's all kinds of replays and we've also got the ocelli effect going on over here oh and you know what i forgot to say friday evening at uh, 11 p.m eastern time grim and moose girl with the freakers ball i just had to scroll down a little bit i could see that shame on me for missing that freakers ball is always a good time um oh it's on rlm bit shoot youtube speaker itunes Booyah, Grim! That's just awesome sauce. So I will be, because I I take my Amazon Fire tablet to work with me so that I can do YouTube and stuff. So I'll be able to listen on there. Awesome sauce. Grimmy, you'll be gandering at a ponder. Let me know if there's any fish in there. Over yonder. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do I have? I still have some time. I have time to play. Let's see, what can I find that will be intriguing, amusing, something besides me just prattling? <laughs> uh, mm, no. Um, oh my goodness. Let's see, I'm scrolling over here on mines. Things I've done to make others happy. Things I've done to be happy. Ah, two different size boxes. Yeah, that's one of those things, lovely Lisa B., um, shared over here on Fakie Book. And speaking of Fakie Book, I did share something. Um, and I think I actually got it from Larry Woods. Let me see if I can scroll down and find it. Okay. English is hard. Now, this is actually a visual kind of thing, but y'all, it, those of you who are English speakers will get this. Um, a bandage is wound around a wound. And the farm was used to produce produce. The dump was so full that it had to refuse refuse. And we must polish the Polish furniture. Whereas he could lead if he would get the lead out. And the soldier decided to desert his, um, des- to desert his dessert in the desert. Yeah, get that right. And since there's no time limit like the present, he thought it was time to present the present. But the base was painted, or the bass was, excuse me, yeah. See, I even screwed it up. The bass was painted on the head of the bass drum. And when shot at, the dove dove into the bushes. But I did not object to the object. The insurance was invalid for the invalid. And yet, there was a row, a row of oarsmen who, uh, okay, I got it. Wow. See, I'm totally (laughs) fee-buttled. There was a row among the oarsmen about how to row. And finally, they were too close to the door to close it. So, yes, English is a funny language. It's a messed up language. So... Oh, well, thank you, Silamon. Yeah, I do have a tendency to prattle from time to time. Oh, well, y'all have an absolutely amazing rest of your wacka, 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 wacka doodle Wednesday. I hope your Thursday, Thursday is even better. And I will be back on Friday to uh, mess with your wee widow heads if I can, or maybe elucidate you or, or enlighten you, or Lord only knows, maybe I'll just make you go, damn. <laughs> I am so glad I'm not her. (laughs) That's okay, because I'm enjoying the hell out of myself. So, there you go. Um, 
And remember, you know, you need to, every time someone in authorita tells you something, question it. Question it. Because you always got to wonder, why are they lowering the kaboom on you? Why are they telling you that this is how you must do things? It's a one size fits all thing. You must do what I tell you. Anytime someone tells you that you must, I'm just recommending. Question. Ask them if it's such a good idea. Why must I do it under penalty of physical harm or being put into a cage? Why must I? Is it just because you think you know best? Well, I think not. Until we meet again, children, please remember, I truly do love you all. May not like you all all the time, but I love you anyway. And I wish you all enough. Good night. <laughs>